Hey, what's going on YouTube? Another vlog for you guys as usual. I'm in my room right now, just chilling. Nobody's at home. Everybody is fucking gone. They're all uh, somewhere. They're out fucking vaginas. I don't really know. But I'm just here at home, chilling, making videos. And I still, I'm gonna go to the mall to give in my application for another job. And uh, th this is what irks me when it comes to jobs. Like, you have to put your all for this job, put your all for any job really, that they don't even give a shit about. Like, all this stupid bullshit, name, first name, last name, middle name, why the fuck would I need to give you all my information? Why is, why do I have to give you even my social security number in a fucking piece of paper? And then they ask you, like, a lot of times, like, I'm not gonna hate, but a lot of times they'll ask you if you have a criminal record, and that's some bullshit right there. Like, if you ever done a criminal, like, any felony at all i mean that's on you you, like, you put yourself out there to do that shit that led you to you that led you to get that felony so i'm not gonna be sorry about the people out there who even got a felony unless you're proven unless you are innocent then that's a different story like you know you're innocent and there's no evidence or anything else then yeah i get it but yeah i'm just chilling right now oh yeah check out my new setup i actually got a new i put i just put a light a lamp light lamp light light uh, um, I use this lamp now for my source of like light to f shine on my face because uh, the light on the sun is not really shining down towards this way as much, and uh, it's it's good to have a light source. So I'm just gonna use a stupid like little lamp, not like most professional YouTubers use. They use like big ass lamps and shit, and they project it all over the fucking area. But yeah, um, I'm just in my room, and I made a new setup now. All my snapbacks and shit. So I'm gonna give it my application uh, soon. And uh, I know when it's home, no ride. So <laughs> I woke up realizing that no one is home. No one is home. Everybody suck a dick. What? Um. But yeah. It's like, look how clean it is. This this car. This whole wooden. I like wooden floors, by the way. It's so much easier to clean. You can just get a fucking vacuum and suck the shit out of every single dust. Um. But yeah. This is like a small, short outfit. I guess. Look at that. Yeah, it's the tank top. I, this is my simple fit. Like, I'm just wearing slippers. If you're wondering how tall I am, I'm 5'5 five five in height. Uh, that's pretty much it. I guess you can make a video about this, too. If Well, this is my mom's room, and it's my mom's and dad's room. Um, but this used to have a big-ass carpet, and it looks so fucking ugly. And now my mom realized that having no carpet is so much better. Um, I think everyone is at the hospital because my dad is, uh, he transferred to a different hospital because of his cancer, so I don't really know what's going on, but, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really simple. Have you guys ever tried this? It's like, you use this shit on your head, and it, like, it makes you, like, laugh and shit. I have no idea why, it just does. It's really cool, though. So, yeah. Let me put this back, it's my mom's. I think she got that from the Philippines or, like, some Chinese store in New York. I think Chinatown. No idea, but yeah, just uh, yeah. Well, you can tell that my parent, my mom, and my my dad isn't really that religious. He didn't really ever go to church as much, and uh, cause obviously, well, he's a Buddhist, so yeah. Cause I'm atheist. Mom is uh, Catholic. Yeah, Catholic. My cr sisters are Christian. My brother's agnostic. So yeah, it's a freaking mix of religions in a Filipino family. But this is my dad. He fucking no shut the fuck up. Um. Here's my mom and my dad. Pretty cool. I love him. I love my dad more, but this <laughs> is like, what? And this is me. Hey, look at me. I'm a small Asian man, man. <laughs> and my dad. Oh, yeah, my dad's computer is gone because of my, um, my sister. My dad wanted to use the computer so badly that he wanted, that he's going to, like, because he's in the hot. Why would, actually, no, I don't understand. Why would my sister bring my dad's laptop if he's in the hospital and he can't move? It's, he can't move. He's paralyzed. Like, what the fuck is this shit? I don't understand, like, my dad's not going to be like a rollover, like, oh, something like that. But yeah, I need, I need to buy a new mouse, because my mouse is fucked up right now, because of the... I always use a tissue on my mouse, and I'll show you why. And uh, yeah, I, I forgot my light's still on for my videos, because I'm not making a video right now. Oh yeah, I also realized I can use this light to film me playing scary horror games on my computer. I just realized that. That's fucking genius right there. That's like a mouse. Like a mouse. Um... Oh, oh yeah, I was saying my, my uh, fucking lamp, I hate that noise. Um, 
this uh, mouse, what I do, because I, I think I said it before, but I put a tissue over because of the, the sweat and shit that I get from my hands. I have oily hands. So once I put it on the mouse itself, it's I sweat and it just, like right now I'm holding the camera and my hand is moist. Like, it is moist. It's just like, what the fuck? Just from my hand sweat. Hand sweat in this bitch. Yeah, I'm going to just dress. I'm going to go out, get some food, then come back home. Nothing much to do. I mean, I live near a fucking mall. And the only thing to do is eat and just check on shit that I'm not even going to buy. It's like, what's the purpose? What is the fucking purpose? I'm going to go to the mall, eat some food, come back home, take a shit, watch some videos, make some videos, and precisely that. That's just it. I'm not going to do shit. Nothing else. My brother has a stash of fucking chocolates. And he's skinny as fuck. He's more skinnier than me. I don't know how much I weigh. I think I weigh like 120, 130. And my brother weighs like... My brother's like tall. He's like six foot. And he... He weighs like... Uh, 90? Or something. Or 100 pounds. Like that's how skinny my, my brother is. And my brother's leaving to uh, his college in Jersey in September. And I'll be going to college uh, in September too. I'll be going to community college because... There's no point in me going to a four-year college, like, university and shit, if, I'm, if I know that I'm not going to pretty much put my 100% effort into it. But, I mean, I'm, I am going to put 100% effort into my um, college work. But it's probably going to be more difficult for me, to, for me to make videos for you guys and girls out there because, um, like, it's, I'm not going to hold the camera like this every single, every single place I go to. Um, it's not going to be that bad, though, because I'm just going to make videos. And I think a lot of people are going to be like, what the fuck is he doing? He's going to hold the camera and he's talking to himself. Like, what the fuck? Is he creepy? Is he weirdo? Like that? Weird and shit? I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. I was playing. I downloaded a lot of new app. Ow. Mmm. I fucking bit my fucking sore. That hurt like a bitch. Anyways. um, I downloaded some new apps. If you guys... uh, They they had like 150 free apps on Apple because of their like 5th anniversary or 6th anniversary. I forgot. Um, but I got over day one. Tractor DJ, uh, Infinity Blade 2, I play that game, that's a fucking cool ass game, I love it. Um, Sor Sorcery, Badland, Tiny Wings, Water, and that's, I think that's it, yeah that's it, I, there's not a lot of apps I have on this. But yeah, that's just what I got, and I'm gonna just dress up and get ready to go to, um, to the mall to get food and shit and then come back. But this is my house clothes now, I just wear these... Uh, free roll jeans. Oh shit. Oh, that was a good catch with the one hand. Um, these are, yeah, free world, right? I think, yeah. Free world. Free world jeans. These are from Zoomies. 30 bucks. That was a waste. Because <laughs> I got, I should have got like another pair of that. Got this. Oh yeah, that's my glasses. I'm glass case. If you guys didn't know, I wear glasses. Like your typical Asian glasses. Your Vogue glasses. Fucking expensive as fuck. I didn't even know that this cost a lot. Yeah, I'm trying to sell a lot of shit. I got my Louis Vuitton here and my Michael Kors watch and everything and my chains and everything else that go along with my outfit. But yeah, I'm going to go out, just seek some more new ass jobs if I would needed to. Even though like technically I could just keep doing YouTube, but I just want to at least get some, make some more money at least. That's, I mean, that's the whole purpose. I don't understand why people aren't just so modest and so honest with each other. Like... We go to a job. We apply for a job for money. That is the whole thing about having a job. Nothing more. There is no... There's never been one person I know that says, I'm going to go to this job and I'm going to learn a lot of shit and I'm going to use that shit in my life. Majority of the case, they're not happy with the job they're uh, doing. Uh, such as retail, food, uh, physical labor like I'm in uh, for two weeks. <laughs> at least, and uh, I just want to explain my thoughts about it, because a lot of people out there don't really like their jobs, and I can, I can be one to agree with that, because I hate my job, I fucking hate my job, and I'm not afraid to say it, so I don't give a shit, but um, it's hard to hold, the, it's actually more easier to hold the camera with my left hand, but when I use it with my right hand, it looks so much more better, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to uh, the mall, Get some food, come back home, make some videos. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't know, I'm featured on this fashion campaign, stock campaign, ology.com. I'll make a video about that. And, 
yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon, I guess, because I got a lot of shit. I'm, I'm going to make a new intro for this vlog channel. I'm going to be trying to make a new cha um, intro, and I got a good idea, because... Oh, what the hell, why is it so dark? Um, considering I, I never really called a lot of people on this channel buttholes and vagina buttholes, if you guys never heard this phrase before, I'm the only one who came up with it. So I put my own trademark down there. Um... And I, I think, I mean, people say butthole, but they don't really explain them as their viewers. And don't get it the wrong way. Don't get it twisted. Uh, when I call you a butthole, does not mean that you're an, like a dumbass or an asshole like that. It's, it's just a joke, like an inside joke. I call the guys on my viewers on my vlog channel buttholes because we have only one butthole. <laughs> For girls, I call them vagina buttholes. And that's, that's fucking creative. Like, that's that's fucking good shit right there. Because they have a vagina, and they got an anus butthole. So, I'm going to call you that, and I'm going to make an uh, intro for that. And that's going to be the intro for every single video that's going to come on on this vlog channel. So I can edit it, and then I can just upload it to YouTube. And most of the most of the videos that I make right now is like 1080p full HD quality. What the hell? Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep making videos. So, let's go downstairs, because no one's at home. And I'm alone, like a vagina and a butthole. And yeah. Oh, let's see. What is the weather like? It's pretty hot, I think, outside. I think it's like in the 80s. So I'm gonna get some food uh, later on. I'm gonna check out the fucking shit in my house. This is what happens when you enter the door. You see this shit everywhere. It's a small house. I'm not gonna lie. And it's so gross that I found a mouse here in this fucking kitchen. Around, it's still hiding under that fucking oven like that's how gross that shit is that how that's how gross um is there any rice no there's no fucking rice god damn it look there's no rice there's no fucking rice there's no rice i'm sad um anything to eat no this is what i have to deal with like considering there's no food at the house i always always have to go outside to get food because most of the food that is in this usually before it would be for my dad because he has like he has to eat every single two hours um that sucks <laughs> but uh yeah this is mine but it tastes so bad don't ever buy a sugar free aloe i like the sugar one what the hell did i i thought I, I bought it because i thought it would be like the same flavor but i realized it's sugar free like oh who really never thought of that who would want sugar free uh aloe that shit's gross. I was so sad when I was at Mitsua. Do you guys know what Mitsua is? It's a pretty much like a supermarket, like food, grocery store area in Jersey. Um, I went there and they, the, my order was, they couldn't do it. They couldn't really make it because they were closed. They didn't have any more left or something like that. I, I went to get, um, first, well, what I usually get from my... Uh, daily meals from Mitsua would be, uh, what do you call it? Wait, I forgot what it's called. Sure, yeah, shrimp tempura. Yeah, that's it. Um, shrimp tempura with, uh, white rice, I think? No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrimp tempura with, uh, jung jung mun, or the jung mun, I think that's how you say it in Korean or Japanese. I forgot, I think it's Korean. Uh, Shimmy Coco Puffs said this in his videos a long time ago, and I watched his vlog before. Um, I think it's called Jajungman or something. Jajungman. I can't really pronounce it. I'm, I'm horrible when it comes to Korean accents and shit. But, uh, yeah, I got that. And shrimp tempura with rice. That shit's good as fuck. I love shrimp tempura. Sushi. I love sushi. Fuck you who don't like sushi. Fuck, it's good for you. Why do you think a lot of Asians out there are skinny as fuck? I mean, unless you're a fucking sumo wrestler, most of the majority of the time, you're not fat. Um, I mean, that's just being general and broad with it, but I'm just giving my opinion about it. Because a lot of times I see a lot of Asians in Asia, they don't, they're not really fat. Most of them are skinny as fuck, like me. I'm skinny as hell. Like, I weigh 130. I have a nice, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I have a good body in my view. Slimming, nice fit. I don't have to worry. I don't lose weight. I mean, wait. Yeah, I don't, I don't gain weight. I lose weight. What the hell would I think? I don't lose weight. Um, because of how metabolism in my body belly and shit and my hormones and genetics uh yeah i'm gonna get ready to go out to get food i had to call my supervisor too i had to call james shout out to james um because i couldn't make it because my sister's not here and no one's here to drive me <laughs> and the cars are not there anymore in the driveway so like because 
we have four cars, but two of them are broken, and the other ones are dr already driven by my mom and my sister. That sucks. Balls! So yeah, my mom's gonna sell two of the cars, and then I'm, I'm gonna have space enough to put my car in if when I buy a car and everything like that. So my car, I mean, because I use my mom's car sometimes. Uh, you, you, oh, it's 5:01. Holy shit! 5:01 p.m. That means penis monsters. What? No. <laughs> Let's check my Tumblr because I have nothing better to do than to talk on a camera for the rest of my fucking life and. Uh, go on my Facebook. I'm a really, I'm like a social media fanatic. I do everything, like, when it comes to, uh, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> um, oh yeah, these, this guy, Heatwave, he's gonna sell me the fucking Crimson 3s, size 8, flaws are in my album, OG everything, but insoles and red laces, Highest offer is 80, bin 90, let me know, we'll take Roche runs, we'll meet anytime, need these gone ASAP. Let me know if, you, let me know, PM me if you're interested. I was interested, you just never fucking commented me back, bitch. Um, I was gonna buy them too, but no, now that I realize it, I think it's just not worth buying. Uh, cause I have, I have a few Air Jordans, I just don't really wear them as much. Um... What else? I forgot what else I was gonna say. I, f I really just forgot. I'm like fucking uh, uh, forgetful about a lot of shit. So yeah. Um, I guess I'll just go to the mall, eat some food, take a shit, make some videos, and yeah, that's my day for you guys and girls out there who's watching my vlogs. So thank you, my buttholes and vagina buttholes, cause your holes are big as fuck. Yeah. Ow. It hurts to do that because I have a sore under my tongue. I mean, it's like on my gum, my lower gum area. It hurts my lower jaw. It hurts. Like hell, if I move my tongue out, like forward, it hurts. If I move it back, it still hurts. What the fuck is this bullshit? It hurts. It hurts. It fucking hurts. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just message this guy. Because he, he was supposed to promise me that I was gonna buy from him. Well, he was just like, oh no, I'm not going to buy it, because I'm a dumbass. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can, I'm going to get sushi or something. I don't know. Should I get Jordan? I didn't even withdraw a lot. I just have like a hundred on me. But should I get the Jordans or should I get food? Then again, food overlaps material. In the end, at the end of the day, it will overlap shit. But yeah. He's selling it for 90 but I, I'm kind of indecisive on if I want to get it or not. Because I already have Air Jordans. My 3s. Um, Crimson 3s. Do they even match anything in my fucking hats? No, they don't They don't ha match anything at all. Unless it's a black and purple, but I don't have a black and... Oh, I do. I have a black and purple hat. What am I talking about? It's a Raptors hat. But a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, he wears a Raptors hat. They suck, you know. I don't give a shit. I don't, I don't care. A lot of people would want to care about the team names and team brands and shit. And be like, oh, this team sucks. This team sucks. I don't give a shit. I only buy because of the colorways, bitch. You can shut your face, your faggot vagina butthole ass, and I'll take my shoes. <laughs> but I'm thinking if I should really buy them. Considering he's saying we'll meet anytime and need these gone ASAP. PM me if you really are interested. So, yeah. I was gonna buy him, but this bitch doesn't want to fucking sell it to me. I'm waiting for the fucking message. Been been talking to him for the longest time, and I was trying to buy him from him. Okay, like my wallet. This shit's like a boss. My beast ass wallet. Like some of the things are like already, um, goth, gone off. I guess gone off. Gone off. Is that how you pronounce it these days? Gone the fuck off. No. Um. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm just gonna stay and chill and, I don't know, pump the fucking... No, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing? I mean, I'm playing. Um, and she, I don't know. I'm, I guess I just change and uh, get ready for work. <laughs> work? What are you talking about, Mark? You're not going to work. <laughs> fucking dumb. Hmm. What else to do? It's actually a good thing that I got the light. 
I got the light from the room and I got the light from the fucking uh, lamp. So that shit's good. Holy shit, I just realized that I got a little bit more physically fit when I was working for UPS. I just realized that for some other, from some odd reason. Not conceited if it's true. Okay. Because I've been working for UPS for like 11 months right now. And that shit got me like pumped up. When I used to start working for UPS, I was fucking way skinnier than I was right now. Like, I mean, I'm skinny now, but I'm saying like, I used to have, I had a belly. Like, a skinny dude with a fucking belly is not good. Like, I had a, I had a six pack, but that shit, some like little gut overlapped it. And I was just like, ugh, that shit is gross as fuck. Ooh, I got a, I got a message. Voices of style started following my ology. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm still in the fashion campaign, so check me out. Got some shit going on, and I'm gonna make some more YouTube videos for that shit. I have to make a lot of shit for the videos, the videos, and the shit. And, uh, holy shit, I'm just... Wait. Oh, he, they're loving the fit of my day. They're loving the fit of the day. I'm thinking if I should buy the fucking Crimson 3s, because I like the Jordan. It's like, it's not bad. It looks nice as fuck. I just regret buying the black hats for eighty dollars, the one I have, um, cause it should be sixty, cause that shit was like kind of beat up, but not really too beat up. And fucking, who's fucking calling me? Oh, let me get the phone. Take the shit. Why are you testing the phone? Wait, what number? Okay, yeah, yeah, hold on, let me get it. Okay, got it, okay. Alright. Ready. Nine, seven, three. Three, two, four. B726. Okay, I got it. I'm getting food outside. Yeah, I already called out. I'm getting food outside. Alright. See ya. See? That was a conversation, people. I hate it when people text. I fucking hate that shit. That shit. I hate texting. Like, I literally hate it when people text. Why the fuck is my camera taking pictures of me? Fucking bitch. Um. Because a lot of the times, a lot of people, they text mo- What the fuck am I using this phone for as an example? This is horrible. Why do people always want to text when they can just fucking call? It's so much easier. Like, people have no realization that t uh, calling is so much more fucking easier than texting. Like, instead of saying, like, text- Like, a text is like, hey, what are you doing? You could have just called that person saying, yo, what you doing? What you doing? You sucking your dick? You licking your clit? What? could you do it like that it's so much easier i mean why do people want to just text nowadays and mo people mostly text i text but like i don't really like it i hate it when i hate wait what <laughs> i hate it when i get late ass text i fucking hate that shit don't you guys hate that shit when you get a late text like you text someone and that's like already like a minute or two minutes i hate it when it takes at least five minutes or more it's like an ocd thing or it's like a pet peeve of mine i hate it when people text late really late or just late in general like it takes them an hour to reply to my message or it takes them 30 minutes to reply to a message i'm not gonna even bother commenting back or texting you back i rather i would have just mostly just called you on my fucking phone and i would have let you know what's been going on with my day i could have been like yo what's going on what's going on what's going on i'm doing shit you doing shit i'm making videos i'm taking shits i i, I think i actually yeah i didn't have a conversation where I was taking a shit and then they didn't realize it. I was like, oh, and that shit. That shit was hilarious. But yeah, um, I gotta get ready. What the fuck am I doing? Still standing here. I'm standing. What the, I'm sitting. What the hell am I thinking? Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna make some videos, take some shit, take a dump, and uh, yeah, it's already been 24 fucking minutes. That shit's long, long like a dick, <laughs> long like a vagina's gaping hole. What? <laughs> um. I'm thinking if I should buy them though. Uh. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. 
I was thinking if I should buy these Jordans because, I mean, I don't think it's really worth it because I still don't want to get food. And food is no, so much more important. Um, but I guess I'll get them. I'll just message the guy. Uh. Uh. Uh, cash plus snap pack. Yeah, you yeah. 80 bucks and a no 70 bucks and a snap bag. Get the fuck out of here. That shit's gross. Oh, yeah, check out my allergy. Check out. Out my allergy. Yeah. <laughs> um. I was just wondering about that shit. I have to sell most of my shoes too. I gotta sell most of my shoes that I currently own because most of them I don't even wear. And uh, I think when I when I'm actually I'm gonna buy them, I'm gonna buy the crimson threes from this guy, and then just wear the crimson threes and then my Nike flights. That's it. Cause I don't really wear a lot of shoes. I mean, I don't wear too much than most people. Let's see. It's 511. 5-11? It should be 7-Eleven. That fucking store is crazy. Open 24-7. I prefer a quick check though. If you guys know what a quick check is, like it's the uh, it's like a pretty much like a fucking 7-Eleven, but cheaper. Like 7-Eleven is cheap when it comes to drinks and shit, but quick check is also fucking cheap. Like a a dollar drink, you can get the big ass fucking gallon. Like literally. Not even joking. That shit's fucking crazy. If you're from America, I mean, if you're from UK, because some people from my view, my channel, watch my videos, they're either from Germany, United Kingdom, uh, Australia, or Canada. That's mo but most of them are coming from the United States. But I'm just saying, like, some of them too come from that. From some of my viewers come from that uh, area. So yeah, um, I don't know what to do. Just gonna chill. Damn, I got a fucking burp as fuck. I like heartburn and shit. Um, but yeah, uh, what can I do when I'm in love with you? No, I'm just playing. I'm not in love with you, bitch. <laughs> You're gonna make me a fucking sandwich in this shit. Cause I ain't taking free fucking sandwiches. I should, I should be taking free sandwiches. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, I gotta return the phone and then see if this guy's actually gonna buy. <laughs> Does that, can you take me seriously with that face? I don't think you can. You can never take me seriously, because I don't have a serious face. Like, the Joker. Why so serious? Something like that. But yeah. My phone's like 92%. It's 92%. It should have been 95%. But that shit lost it like that. I'm, st I'm excited still for iOS 7. I want to I wanna get the shit already. I'm s I love being alone a lot. That, that sounded like so bad, <laughs> but I mean, I'm being honest, like a lot of people out there want to have people around them, but I don't need that. I'm happy. You can see me. I'm happy. I'm fucking happy. <laughs> but I mean, I'm just here making videos. That's what I enjoy doing. I can make videos. I'm by myself right now. No one's at home. No one's at home. No one's at fucking home. I can scream and shout and shit. Bitches and vaginas and titties and like that. Milk. Magnum. I used to say that saying when I was in high school. Magnum. Like the, the Magnum condom. The Trojan. You get it. The Trojan? What am I saying? It's a different brain. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because I'm coming for you. Uh, I'm gonna rape you, bitch. Uh, I'm playing. <laughs> gonna rape you, bitch. The hell? That's like another remix. I'm gonna rape you, bitch. <laughs> rape you, bitch. <laughs> Not playing. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, there was something on the news. Like, I saw this on Yahoo News and World Star. Like something about meat. Like this worker from some I forgot the store name, but uh, the they put their food next to a fucking garbage can. That shit's gross. Get that shit away from me. I'm gonna burn it all. I'm gonna get a fucking flamethrower and burn the shit out of every single food that was near that fucking tr uh, garbage bin. That's gross. It's fuck. There's flies and shit. There's leech leeches. I mean, there is like maggots and probably there, but that's it, just gross. And you and people are eating that shit. That's gross. You health inspectors gotta 
fucking search the whole fucking campus and everything, or search the whole area and search the whole building. Because it's not because, I guess they're just pretty much like stingy with the food and everything when it comes to inspections, because it's kind of stupid. Because I remember when I was in high school, we had a place called Geo's, and it was like across, diagonally across from the school, and that shit's gross. Like, I, I mean, it's, it's good because I, I ate there for the fucking four years, but... Um, they failed the inspection for the health thing. Their food was bad. I remember they were picking their nose and shit. And like, I know you're gonna say, why would you even eat there then if you were the one still eating there for four years? But there was really no other place. But sometimes I would drive to McDonald's or something like that and get food there. Um, but yeah, they failed this health inspection cl uh, thing. And then I remember the guy, he was taking like pills to try and kill himself. Like it was crazy. Like I was just shocked with like how these successful people wanted to do that and I realized like it's a stress and a lot of the times we don't really know what they're go what's going on in their life and a lot of the times a lot of young teenagers they get through a, everyone gets through so much shit like anything like for me it comes through stress like relationships past exes fucking dumbasses stupidity uh fucking uh uh not enough time to make videos god damn she's sexy I don't know I was watching some like modeling thingy on uh it was on Facebook. I don't know why. But anyways, um, I was just curious about like what people think about nowadays because of the fact that we as a hum we as today's society as humans, we're falling backwards than we're supposed to we're supposed to be moving forwards in life. We're not supposed to be going backwards. Why the fuck would you want to go backwards? I don't wanna go back to the fucking dino area and I wanna get eaten by dinosaur. I mean they're they're extinct, but like I'm just giving a figurative speech here analogy. Um yeah, that shit crazy as fuck. Why the fuck is my camera still taking pictures? I can tell you're taking a picture. Stop taking a picture. Um, it takes pictures of me randomly. I have no idea why. It's still it's like auto focusing on my face with a fucking orange square. And it's just like whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. But that shit's following me. Like whoa, 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 like that. But like, uh, uh, I'm gonna smack the fuck out of this fucking orange box. Orange box. Half Life Two. Um, Team Fortress. Yeah, yeah. In that bitch. <laughs> I laugh a lot of my jokes. I don't know why. I'm a, we I'm a weird fucking person. If you don't like me, get the fuck out of my life. I don't give a shit about you. If you don't like me, and you don't love me. <laughs> I think a lot of people out there can react to that kind of situation. It's like, you don't love me. I don't love myself. I realize like a lot of people on Tumblr too are depressed. Majority of the people on Tumblr are depressed. They're either blogging about cutting themselves, thinking about suicide, like, I know a lot of people out there have a lot of problems and they want to, like, relief it with, like, running away from home. They want to kill themselves. They want to cut themselves. They want to do anything self-harming themselves to make the situation much better. When in reality, it makes it much worse. You cut yourself. Not only you hurt yourself, you damage your skin, you get scars. And your parents will have to probably call a fucking psyche shit guy on you. And trust me, I've been there. I almost came to the decision of cutting myself. That was like a long time ago though. I mean, it's all good now, like I'm all fine, like I'm all dandy and shit, energetic, um, getting money. I'ma be that rapper now. I'ma be like, I'ma get money, fuck bitches, get some drugs, and I'm not playing. I don't do that shit. Um, but I'm, just, I'm just saying that doing drugs, smoking weed, uh, smoking cigarettes, hookah, anything or sort of anything that's negative in life, you don't need it in life. Get the fuck away. Just so gross. You have no idea. I go to the mall a lot every single weekend. You guys know this. I go to the mall every week. I shop there. I eat there. And majority of the time when I leave the mall, there's always like that uh, group, big ass group of people who smoke pot or people who smoke weed. And I have nothing against people who smoke weed or cigarettes. Like if you want to do it, it's your life. You can waste away some years on your life for cancer or something like that. I don't care. It's not my life. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, Mark, Mark, you're so heartless, Julian, you're so heartless, why are you saying that shit? I'm being honest. It's not It's not hard for me to be honest. I can be as honest as possible. Like, people are sometimes even scared about how much honesty I can, even, action, that I can actually like say. Like, for example, if a fat girl was going to ask me, hey, does this dress look me look fat? Or do you think I look fat? I'm going to be honest with you. You're asking my opinion. I'm going to give you my full honest opinion about you. Fat, twinkie ass bitch. Like, goddamn, a lot of people out there, they want to, like, uh, hide the fact that they are. And they just want some approval from somebody that they are not. It's like, 
for example, a skinny girl will say that she's fat, when in reality, she's not. She's a skinny ass twig and she always wants to complain and wants attention from people and she wants to be verified from another person or she wants to be uh, uh, told from another person that she is beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's amazing, she's pretty, she's not fat at all, she's nice and curvy. Every single guy out there, in my view, guys, this is a question for you. Every guy, I think when it comes to like looks and everything, now everybody, the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. But majority of guys out there, especially including me, because we all have preferences when it comes to people, girls, guys, um, it doesn't matter who, uh, if you're gay, you're bi, straight, sec uh, bisexual, straight, I don't care, lesbian, I don't give a shit. If you're cool with me, I'm cool with you. But regardless of that, um, everybody has preferences. Now, my perspective is ni a nice, slimming, curvy-ass body. But with that, there's going to be some cons. Because there's going to be, like, either, no matter how good a girl is, like, how good she looks, like, a body-wise, she can have the most amazing body ever. But if she, if she has the most shittiest personality and shittiest attitude with me, I'm going to say no. Fuck that bitch. Hell no. That shit's gross. No one wants that. I don't want that. You... And the majority of the girls that are like the beautiful curvy are the most insecure ones. And the majority of the time they will go out with an asshole. That's why. I mean assholes, in my view, they get the most attention from girls. I'm not going to lie. That's honesty right there. That's being me being honest. Because a lot of girls out there, they want to like prove how beautiful they are. And I hate it when girls who are ugly, and I'm being honest with this as possible, because there's going to be ugly guys, ugly girls girls, beautiful guys, beautiful girls. And that's another question too. A lot of guys out there hate, like they always say whenever like, if you're a guy and you say like, let's just say David Beckham, like he's fucking amazing, he's beautiful, he's a fucking god, godlike uh, sex symbol right there. And uh, that's being honest. And it's not because I'm gay or anything, my preference, sexual orientation, it's just the fact, it's the truth. And a lot of times, nine times out of ten, guys will admit that they don't really even want to say that they look good at all. And it's not with the fact of being gay. It's just the fact that it's being truthful and being honest. Like, but I would be joking around with my friends sometimes. Like, if my friend is, like, attractive, like, a guy. Girls are attractive, guys are attractive. There were every fucking, there's a lot of people out there in the world that you can say that are attractive. Doesn't matter who. Um... But we, me and my friend, we joke a lot. We're best friends, and we get the whole gist of it. I'd be like, yo, you're sexy as fuck, man. Like, ow, fuck, it fucking hurts my fucking floor. But yeah, damn, I've been talking for 37 minutes. Holy shit balls, sex. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later on. But don't you guys hate it? Like, you guys out there, you can agree that no matter what, it doesn't even matter if it's a rule for you. If you know that a other guy looks good and he dresses nicely and everything, you know that he is good. He's good looking and everything else like that. But majority of the guys don't want to even say it. Because they'll always be like, oh, he says it, he's gay. He's automatically gay. That shit's stupid right there. That's fucking stupid. That's just being honest right there. I'm just being honest. I don't care if people are going to be like, oh my god, how, why would you be so honest with that shit? I mean, you as a straight guy, shouldn't you like be like, no, I don't, it looks so gross. That's so fucking gay. I don't discriminate. I don't give a shit. If you are gay, bisexual, lesbian, um, anything of that nature, I don't give a shit. Okay? I don't give a shit. I'll be honest with you. I'll be truthful. I remember on Facebook, there was a friend of mine, uh, I'm going to put her on blast, Danielle. Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a million of Daniellas out there, but I think it's Danielle, Danielle, or Daniela, yeah, Danielle. D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That's her name. And she was a fat girl, okay? She's a fat girl. I'm going to be honest. I'm being honest. Now, I know a lot of people out there are going to be like, oh my god, he's, he's hurting this person's feelings. But if you are fat and you want to change yourself, change yourself. Stop waiting. A lot of people don't want to put in the effort of changing for the good. A lot of people out there that I know, most of my friends, like past friends, they change for the worst. Change for the worst. They smoke, they drink, they do drugs, they go to parties, clubs, they want to have sex early. They don't. That's not good morals. Out. That's not good morals at all. To me, that's not good morals. That's just being irresponsible. And a lot of people are going to complain. They're going to be like, oh, I just want to have fun. I just want to party. I want to go and have sex. I want to do this shit. I don't give a shit. And all that shit. Um.
Uh, hold on, guys. But yeah, anyways, um, I just hate it when fat girls, they want to say that they're beautiful. Like, a lot of the times, nine times out of ten, it's not true. It's not true. Like, if you're ugly, embrace ugly. If I was ugly, I'd embrace it too. I don't give a shit. I know I'm decent. I'm not fucking, like, chart, like, fucking ten out of ten. But I know I'm, like, in the eight out of ten range. I, I would label myself as that. I don't, I don't think of myself like, I'm a fucking Ted, I'm so sexy, and shit, no. Uh, ah. But yeah, anyways, uh, I'm just gonna, what the fuck? Alright, never mind, I'm not gonna get the shoes. I'm gonna go to the mall, get some food, chill. It's already nine, it's about 26. That's just crazy as fuck. Um, I should really go to the mall. Opening a H&M there too. My fucking mall never had an H&M. Oh yeah, so, um, some of my commenters on my videos, they were saying that, uh, why don't you work at Foot Locker? My mall does not have Foot Locker. If you're thinking about the videos I make on the weekend, that's a different mall, okay? That's a different mall. My mall is much different. Um... But any news, uh, I just hate it when girls out there, they want to be, there, a lot of girls out there are insecure, I'm not going to hate on girls who are, but you got to be confident with one another, you got to be confident with yourself, you got to love yourself, love yourself, do yourself, fuck yourself, um, that sounded so wrong, but, I mean, majority of the time when I see is girls are insecure, they don't realize, like, how beautiful they really are, and usually the case is the average looking girls and the beautiful girls that are like 10 out of, like 9 out of 10, there's no such thing as like a 10 out of 10 in my view, um, unless you're that perfect, but you're, most of the time, no one's perfect, so, um, a lot of the times, average girls too, they are pretty, they're not that bad, their personalities are awesome, majority of the time, the av this is like, I classify, um, and I think you guys, are, you girls and guys are gonna be like, oh my god, he's classifying, he's labeling, but everyone fucking does it, so stop being a fucking hypocrite, everyone is, they criti everyone criticizes, they are hypocrites, everyone judges, it's just how life is. It's the same way, so I'm not gonna just say everyone contradicts each other. Everyone, it's just something everyone does. No one can just say they're not a hypocrite because everybody is to some thing. It's stupid. Like my mom is like, my mom is homophobic, but she does not mind a gay person in the house. What? I don't understand. What the fuck is this bullshit? It's it's stupid. There's a lot of things out there. Like I remember watching Harold and Kumar, and this scene. Uh, if you've seen this, if you've seen Harold and Kumar before, it's like a, a Korean guy, Indian guy, friends, best friends, and they're talking to President Bush. Uh, it was like a scene in Harold and Kumar will go to White Castle. And George Bush, George Bush, because I don't think it's a real one, uh, he was like, hey, Kumar, do you like to get hand jobs? And he's just like, uh, yeah. And then he's just like, you like, you like to give hand jobs? And he's just like, fuck that, no. And he's just like, yeah, you're a fucking hypocrite, huh? See, that's that's true. That is being a hypocrite. Cause being as a straight guy, you don't want anything to do with a, like touching a guy's genitals. That's just gross to us. So, yeah. Like to me, I don't have nothing wrong with gay people. Like, I'll I'll hug you and shit. I, I'll shake your hand. I don't give a shit. But if you touch, if you like put your finger up my butt, then that's a difference. That's that's that, that's a different story, guys. Gotta hold off on that shit. But yeah, um. I'll just make another video because this this video is so fucking long. Anyways, comment, rate, subscribe for the video, share with your friends, give the video a like, check out my links down below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Peace on the streets, son. Not playing. I'm not PvP, so my bad. I don't take that trademark. That's their trademark. See you later, buttholes and vagina buttholes. That's my fucking trademark, bitch. Yeah, East Side represent. <laughs> Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Peace. Wow.